Who? What's up, people? This is Mr. Brandon here, and today we have G8 Gate from Unfiltered Audio. And recently there was an update to this that added this hister. I believe that is how you pronounce it. Uh, it looks like oyster, but um, if you hover over this little bulb knob here, it says hysteresis, which kind of like hysteria. So I'm I'm guessing this is hysteresis and hister. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I guarantee someone will correct me in the comments. Anyways, moving on with me saying hister. So what is hister? Hister allows you to set when a gate closes. So we can have our, our threshold determine when the gate opens and hister determine when the gate closes. So with my voice going on, we can set this threshold up a little bit higher. Now I'm a, I gotta talk a lot louder so it doesn't cut me out. And we adjust this, which is like a knob. So click on it and pull down. And then the hister goes down. So that is how you set it. I'm gonna go ahead and move these back to where they were. And if you want to turn history completely off, just leave it all the way up with threshold. It'll never pass over the threshold. Something that is cool though, if we set the history, say about right there, as we adjust the threshold, they will always stay at a distance apart from each other, kind of compensate for each other. So yeah, that's how that works. Now let's move on to a expertly drawn graphical representation of how the hister works. So on the screen, we have this graph labeled level and time. And let's go ahead and bring up this light blue line. This is going to represent our threshold. This is when the gate opens and that's when we'll hear our input level. And anytime that input level goes underneath the blue line, that's when it's going to be cut off. So let's bring in our input level. Here we can see it rises over, goes under, over, a little bit further under and over and then off. So let's bring up our output level. This output level represents what we hear. So anything below the light blue line is what we don't hear. Anything above it is what we're going to hear. So you can see that once it gets up to that blue line, that's when we hear it. It's labeled in red, by the way. Sorry if you're colorblind. I'm going to be using lots of colors. So the red goes over the line and then it ducks under. And this is when the gate turns off until the audio goes back over the light blue line and continues doing this all the way through. Now let's add our hister. So we still have when the gate opens up there in the light blue and in the dark blue, that is our hister threshold, which is when the gate closes. So anywhere between the light blue and the dark blue and anywhere above the light blue is what we're going to hear. So let's change our output level. Now the input level is going to stay the same from what we had before, but our output level is going to be a little bit different. Now you can see that we only have one instance of where the gate drops out in the middle besides the end and the beginning. So if we follow this output level, that first input level that goes over the top and comes back under doesn't cross that dark blue line. So the gate is not being turned off, even though the threshold has already been activated and crossed below the threshold. That hister allows it to still play. And it goes back over and then it comes back under and then this is where it ducks under that hister level and that is where the gate shuts off until it goes back over that dark blue line and then it doesn't turn back on until it gets to that light blue line again so this is important to notice that just because that signal goes to the dark blue line it is not reactivating itself itself that light blue is the point where the threshold is activated or the gate is opened and the dark blue line is when the gate is closed uh, the dark blue line cannot open the gate and the light blue line will not close the gate when hister is active. So that's how that works. If you want to see these tables up close, there's a link in the description to a blog post on my website where these images will be sitting for you. So I hope that helps you understand how that hister function works. I definitely didn't know what it was when it was first released and I think it is great now. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you later.